Good evening. Thank you very, very much for being here. We are the United States Navy Band Brass Quintet from just across town at the Washington Navy Yard. Uh, my name is Chief Musician Colin Wise. Uh, I'm the Tremone player from the group, and it really is our privilege to be here with you tonight. Uh, we've got a wide variety of music to play for you. That first piece uh, was a piece called Fire Dance by American trumpet player and composer Anthony DiLorenzo, uh, who played for many years in the Center City Brass Quintet and composed quite a bit of wonderful music for groups just like this. Um, we're going to continue kind of in that vein with another piece written by a trumpet player as well, this trumpet player, Brandon Reidenauer, from the Canadian Brass, which many of you may have heard before. Uh, this next piece is called Lament, um, that really captures with a, a beautiful folk-like tune um, of this very sorrowful but beautiful uh, tune that, that weaves its way through the entire quintet. So we hope you enjoy here Brandon Reidenauer's Lament. Thank you. 
Hi, good evening. I'm Chief Musician James Six. I play tuba in the quintet. And I've been in the Navy Band for almost 13 years now, and I've been playing in this group uh, as part of that job for 11 years. I'm originally from uh, the central, north central Florida area. Um, went to the University of Georgia, and then um, I went on to receive a master's degree in music from DePaul University in Chicago. Um, the next piece that we're going to play for you is uh, Quintet Number no. 3 by Victor Ewald. Victor Ewald was a noted professor, actually, of civil engineering in St. Petersburg, Russia, which was, that was his primary profession. Uh, yet in 1872, he entered the prestigious St. Petersburg Conservatory at the age of 12. Um, at, the, at the conservatory there, he studied cornet, piano, horn, cello, and plus he also studied harmony and composition. Um, his, his main contributions, especially to us, that are important is that he wrote a lot of works uh, for brass instruments. He loved brass instruments. Um, and in fact, he wrote four quintets, one of which we're going to play this evening. Um, and the original scoring for these works was a little different than what you see on stage. Uh, the original scoring was for uh, two cornets, um, an alto horn, which is now played by the French horn, a tenor horn, which is now played by the trombone, and then tuba, which actually Ewald played the part of the tuba himself. Um, and again, we're going to play the third quintet, and we're only going to play the first movement of this just to give you a little bit of flavor of, of uh, Victor Ewald's writing. So quintet number three, movement one. Thank you. 
Good evening. I'm Chief, Chief Jason Hayup. I obviously play the French horn in the group. I've been in the Navy band now for 14 years and been in this group, thankfully, for the last eight years. I am originally from Dallas, Texas. I uh, grew up in as a native Texan and came up here in 2003. Um, our next piece is by Nicola Farrow, who is a trombone player. And he wrote this next piece for the New York Philharmonic principal brass players for their brass quintet when they went on their 2007 uh, tour to Japan. And this piece is called Air of Manhattan. And what this is about, obviously, is a day in the life of the city of Manhattan, starting very early, sun just coming up, and then the hustle and bustle, the craziness of Manhattan, and then slowly as it winds back down to the quietness of the city, though I don't ever know if Manhattan really does get quiet. But we hope you enjoy Air of Manhattan. Thank mm -hmm. you.
thank you very much. I am musician first class, Ben Hauser. Uh, I've been in this uh, group for the past uh, year and a half, and I've been in the Navy band uh, for th almost three years now. Our next selection is three pieces composed by Ludwig Maurer. It is a staple in the brass quintet literature. Maurer was born in Germany in 1789 and immigrated to St. Petersburg, Russia when he was 17, where he spent most of his life. These are the first three pieces from a set of 12 that were published posthumously in 1881, and they have the distinction of being the first brass chamber pieces in Russia. Maurer's 12 pieces for five brass players predated the formalization of the brass quintet format and helped pave the way for the relatively famous brass quintets of Victor Ewald, which you heard two pieces ago, who was also a St. Petersburg musician born in 1860. This music's brevity and simple structure recall the older ceremonial traditions in brass ensemble music, but the sensitive chamber music approach is ever present, filling a vital niche on many brass quintet programs. Thank you.
Thank you very much. I had the longest walk, and I'm, I'm short, so it took me a little while. Sorry. My name is Chief Musician Carl Linquist. I'm originally from Sandusky, Ohio, and I've been in the Navy Band about four years now. Previously, I've served at the uh, United States Naval Academy and also in the Army Field Band. Um, it's our pleasure to be here. It's a beautiful place to play, and thank you so much for coming. The next piece you're going to hear is unlike anything you've, you've, you've yet heard, we're going to get into our, our jazz set. We may not look like um, well-seasoned jazzers, but um, deep down there's some, there's, some, there's some jazz in here. So the next tune we're gonna play is called Jive for Five. It's arranged by uh, Paul Nagel, who's a prolific arranger, mostly in the jazz idiom, originally from uh, Altoona, Pennsylvania. He started playing trumpet at age nine, and also at a very early age started arranging, even in, in uh, junior high and high school, already was learning the craft of arranging. So he's published over 150 uh, works for different, mostly small groups in the jazz idiom. And let's, he also taught school for many years in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Uh, he taught high school band in Princeton um, and other, other communities around the Philadelphia and New Jersey area. Um, so this piece is kind of, it's a three different tunes you're gonna hear. We got like kind of a, a swing tune to start with. And then we move into um, kind of a, a funk tune, which if you've listened to Tower Power groups like that, it might be reminiscent of that. And the last of the three is a jazz waltz. So perhaps like Dave Brubeck or, or a style like that. So. It's a very fun piece to play. We hope you enjoy Jive for Five. Thank you. 
Well, thank you very much. Again, it, it really is our privilege to be here in such a beautiful setting uh, with a, such a great crowd that's turned out tonight um, to, for us to share a bit of the, the music that we love to play and represent the Navy with. Um, it is truly a, a privilege to have the jobs that we have representing the Navy and the professionalism that the 300,000 active duty sailors uh, show day in, day out around the globe. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's our treat to represent the Navy in this manner and, uh, and to share this great music with you. Um, now, the next piece we play is going to be our last, and before you look at your watches and go, hey, they're cutting out early, um, this is actually the longest thing that we're going to play, um, but this one is uh, in particular special to us. Uh, this piece is called Iron Horse, and it's written by a local composer by the name of Kevin McKee. Uh, Kevin did his graduate work at the University of Maryland and still continues to uh, compose and freelance in this area as a trumpet player, uh, so he's become a friend of many of ours and many of the other D.C. area musicians. He's just a fantastic guy and a wonderful composer, as you'll here with this next piece. Um, he's really found his niche writing for brass instruments as a sound that he just understands and really uses in such a cinematic and, and wonderful way. Um, so this next piece that we're going to play, I believe, is the third or the fourth piece that he's written for a brass quintet. Uh, it's called Iron Horse. It was actually commissioned by the brass quintet from the Gewandhaus Orchestra in Leipzig. Uh, they heard his music across the pond, thought it was so awesome, they wanted him to write something, so he wrote this for them a couple of years ago, uh, and it's really taken off in the brass world. So it's our treat to bring that to you this evening. Uh, there are two movements to this piece. The first... Um, let me get the names right here. Uh, the, the first is called The Blue Goose. Uh, that's meant to give you this sort of sentimental trip on a beautiful train ride along the, the West Coast, just beautiful views, panoramas, and uh, thinking back to his childhood. Uh, the second movement is called Highball on White Pass, uh, and it's much the opposite. Uh, it's meant to be a white knuckle train ride where you're not sure that you're going to survive this thing, uh, making it through all the curves very rapidly, and you'll hear this very heavy train taking off and then running on the verge of going out of control, and hopefully we, we keep it right on that verge and not past. Um, but uh, so this is Kevin McKee's Iron Horse. Again, we are the United States Navy Band Brass Quintet, and thanks again so much for coming out this evening.
Thank you for joining us at the Millennium Stage. For more information about upcoming Millennium Stage programming, please visit us online at kennedy-center.org or on Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening at the Kennedy Center. <laughs>